high-end hardware at half the price of the big names. What's not to like? A category started by OnePlus in 2014, the top spec flagship killer is a crowd favorite. While OnePlus itself climbed out of this niche several generations ago, the brand's existence, others have filled in the gap. So now you might be wondering, what's the current best flagship killers? For those who aren't willing to pay more but still appreciate top tier performance, well I got you covered, here are the best flagship killers in 2020. Starting off on our list, we have the K30 Pro Zoom. The K30 Pro Zoom replaces a stable mate of sorts, the Mi 90 Pro. Xiaomi continues with the cutout free displays in the mid range, and the one on the K30 Pro Zoom is now larger at 6.6 .6 inches in diagonal and adds HDR10 Plus support, though it's missing a high refresh rate capability. The Snapdragon 865 goes without saying for this category, but the UFS 3.1 storage is a bonus with this Redmi. Another standout feature is that the zoom gets its name from the 3x telecamera that's hard to find in this segment. If you want to ride that initial 8K video wave for some reason, then the Redmi is there for you too. Fourth on our list, we have the Realme X50 Pro. The Realme X50 Pro offers a 90Hz 6.4 inch AMOLED display, 35 minute charging, and loud stereo speakers, which are flagship grade features. So is the camera output when it comes to stills, and the dual selfie camera can even beat most true top end handsets. You can even sort of count the advertised splash resistance as positive, though there's no official IP rating. It's not all great on the X50 Pro, and a couple of seemingly arbitrary omissions making it less good than it could have been when it comes to video recording. There's no 4K60 option which the chipset is fully capable of nor is there video stabilization in 4K30 which is unacceptable in 2020. Another blemish in the spec sheet is the lack of headphone jacks but still a well deserved victory for the X50 Pro here. Coming up in third we have the OnePlus 8T. OnePlus coined the term that headlines this category, but with its ever-increasing prices, it's really hard to place a phone in it until the OnePlus 8C came out. It impresses with a 120Hz display and some of the fastest charging in the business, while also delivering solid battery life and overall nice camera output. The 120Hz display may be awesome and all, but the phone stays locked at 60Hz for most games, and that looks like a wasted potential to me. The camera is pretty good, but not a flagship killer good. Second on our list, we have the Mi 10T Pro. Xiaomi is no stranger to great value offerings in the high-end segment, and among the latest ones is the Mi 10T Pro. Its killer feature is the 144Hz display, a notch higher than mainstream 120Hz flagships and into gaming phone territory. It also has some of the most thorough adaptive RR implementations I've ever seen. It's not just display, however, the Mi 10T Pro boasts excellent battery endurance and a main camera like the true Mi 10 Pro flagship. It doesn't skimp on the smaller NIZTs either. You get an IR emitter, a notification LED, and stereo speakers. All of this comes in a very premium feeling and well-built package. For all its virtues, the Mi 10T Pro is not quite perfect. Most notably, it's missing a real telephoto cam and even if the high-res main unit can manage in some situations, a dedicated cam would be nice. The ultrawide is not quite great either. Also amazing as the display may be for an LCD, it won't be good enough if you're an OLED type of person. Lastly on our list, we have the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Samsung is doing some flagship killing with the Galaxy S20 FE, and it's good enough to do away with the others in this group too. The S20 FE comes with a 120Hz Super AMOLED display, bringing flagship grade refresh rate to the masses. It has top class battery life and it also has really good camera output. For the most part, it has 4K video capture but isn't quite up to top tier. Samsung only ships the FE with a 15 watt charger, while the phone can go as high as 25. Some flagship killers have sexier looks and more premium materials. The FE's plastic back doesn't score points for that, but is arguably more practical, which also applies to its IP68 dust and water resistance rating, a standout feature in this bunch. 
That is all for the list of the best flagship killers that you can buy in 2020. Hopefully you have found what you are looking for. If you have thoughts about the list and suggestions, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it would really help me in creating more content like this. And if you're looking for more of my videos, just check out my channel. Thanks for watching, see you again on the next video.